Hello everybody, welcome to Grace Bear Reviews. Let's go see what's in the fridge today. Hey everybody, welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews. Today we're doing the final beer from uh, uh, New Holland's Dragon, Dragon's Milk Reserve. This is their Triple Mash Stout. And this is a big beer, guys. This is a 14 percenter. And it is a uh, bourbon barrel of stout. And it says Triple Mash Stout right on the bottom. Uh, this one has bottled on October 7th of 2015 in yellow right on the side where you can read it. No codes, no black writing. It's in yellow where you can read it with the beer still in there. Very nice. Very, very nice. Some packaging that these guys do right on the back here. It says vintage 2015, alcohol 14% right on the back label. Other than the IBUs, they're giving you all the information you need to know. Telling you the vintage of the year on the back label. Telling you when it was bottled on, in, written in yellow, right on the side where you can read it. Thumbs up, two thumbs up to those guys. Uh, very, very nicely done packaging. Uh, other than the IBUs, we got all the information we need. Uh, commercial description, they're calling this the Double Dragon. Watch out for the Double Dragon. It'll burn your ass, especially a 14 percenter. Probably ought to drink this one at home. Uh, even if you're out at a, <laughs> at, a, at a pub or a bar or whatever, you might be laying down in the seat and somebody's taking you home or you call a taxi or Uber or whatever, however you're going to get there. Uh, this is probably uh, a beer that you would finish up the evening with. Uh, this could be your dessert or you could have it with a very strong dish. Uh, they have probably some recommendations here. Let's read the commercial description. It says the yeah, IBU is a 31 on this beer. Uh, Double Dragon is a triple mash dragon's milk aged in New Holland artesian spirits oak barrels. Intense malt character is paired with compelling whiskey character and the toasted notes of American white oak. <clears throat> Robust yet balanced, Double Dragon is an experience all its own. So they're calling this the Double Dragon. <sighs> it's a fire coming out of it too, probably. Alright, uh... Food pairings are going to be your typical stout food pairings. Uh, cheeses of buttery brie, gouda, Havarti, Swiss. It goes well with your chocolate dishes and your stronger dishes and your stronger cheeses. Uh, according to what they had on the label here, it says, uh, an experience all its own, the stinkiest cheese, the darkest chocolate, and a day off. That's what it's got on the back label. That's like I'm telling you guys. This is a big beer. It's a sipper. Uh, it's not something you'd want to chug. Uh, and you probably don't want to have more than one of these at a setting, 14%. This is like three Budweiser or three Millers or three Coors in one bottle. Big beer, big, big, big beer. So, we're finishing off the series with this one. This is the biggest and the baddest, supposedly, being the Double Dragon at 14%. Uh, the, the meat for this is beef, smoked meat, game, and grilled meat. Glass for a pint of macaronic tumbler, snipper, oversized wine glass. My favorite glass again today. I love this glass. I love it. I had a lot of subscribers order this glass. Not a cheap glass, but it is a very heavy-duty, well-made glass. It lasts you a lifetime if you take care of it. Uh, it says it can be set up for a long, long time. 14% this beer will keep 20 years. There's no doubt. This beer will keep 20 years if you sell it correctly. So, nothing else we need to talk about, so I'm going to stop flapping my gums and start pouring the beer. Nice little hiss, a little bit of smoke. Perfect carbonation down the center. This is pouring even less head than the other ones that poured. Of course, it's 14%, while the other ones have been 11. Hardly any head at all, straight down the center. 
Uh, about a quarter finger of head that's just barely covering the top of the beer, guys. And let's see if it's changing any colors. Uh, no, it still looks pretty much the same in the glass. Very thick, rich, dark color in the big bulb part. A little bit of red rubiness to the thin part of the glass at the bottom. Great looking beer. Not much head, though. A lot of times you're going to get that with a 14 or, or bigger beer. It's not going to pour a massive head. A lot of alcohol there. Let's get a nose on it. Cheers. Getting some woodiness there from the oak barrels. A little bit of bourbon. It's a little more subdued than the last two have been. But it's there. I am getting it. I mean, this slide will get a little more intense as it warms up. It's right out of the fridge at 40 degrees. Rich roasted caramel. Toppy. Some dark fruit. Maybe some raisins, plums, or figs, or dates. Bittersweet chocolate. And they haven't done any raspberries or chilies or anything on this particular beer. It's just a triple mash. Which gets that ABV up there. Smells wonderful. Definitely getting the bourbon now. I mean, the longer it sets in the glass and gets warmer and warmer, the more that bourbon's going to come out. Smells wonderful. It's that time. Let's get it on. Cheers, everybody. Cheers, Robbie. Thank you, my brother. These beers have been excellent you sent me. Thank you. That is very nice. Very nice sweetness on the back end. Just enough hops to balance that out. A little bit more alcohol in the taste than the other ones have been. But it's not overpowering, not doing any burning or anything like that. Very well done. Nicely done. Oh man, that is delicious, guys. That is delicious. That's probably the best one yet. It really is. Wow, fourteen percent. I've had beers more boozier than this at 8%. This is an exceptionally well-made beer, guys. Wow. That blows my hair back and my socks off. This is definitely an 8 beer. This may get to the 10 scale today. Ah, the, the bourbon is really coming out now. Get a Woody, huh? Huh? What she said? Mm. Basically, no head at all now. It is dissipated completely. Nice slicing on the glass. A little bit of alcohol in the taste, guys. I will tell you that. It's not as hidden as the 11 percenters that we've done. A little bit more there. Great candidate to sell on this beer. 5, 10, 15, even 20 years this beer is going to keep. There's no chilies to fade. There's no raspberries to fade. A triple mash stout in bourbon barrels. 14%. This would be a, a great one to pick up in a four pack. Have one fresh. Have one in five years. Have one in 10 or 15 years. Have one in 20 years. It's got all the information on there you need to know. Or if you want to buy this year's version and pick up next year or the year after his version and do a vertical five years down the road, we're going to do it a 2015 and we're going to do a 2018 side by side and see how it's changed and how more complex the older one has got. Very nice. Very, very nice. Well, it's a sipper, guys. Just remember that. It's a sipper. This is probably one you want to have at home like I'm doing. Ain't got to worry about hurting anybody or getting a ticket or a DUI or enjoy it at home. That's what I like to do now. In my younger days, I'd go to the bars and get shit-faced and try to drive home and take that chance of getting in an accident and hurting somebody and, and getting a DUI. It's just not worth it. It's not worth it, guys. Drink them at home, especially when you get into this magnitude of a beer. 11, 12, 14, 13, 14 percent. This is a 14 percenter. 
a great beer to have at home. Share with some friends you have over. Make them spend the night. Don't let them drive home after they've had this. Or if somebody comes over and, and their significant other happens, it's not drinking this uh, would probably be a good idea. You wouldn't want somebody, even if they've had just one of these, to try to drive somewhere. Because if they go through a road check, one 14% beer is good enough to give you a DUI pass. It is. So, you're just taking your chances nowadays. Well, let me step on this one for a while. The hair have a taste two or three. And maybe even fire up a Maduro wrapped cigar to go with this big, potent double dragon. And uh, see what it ends up. I'll be back. I'm going to step on it probably about 35, 45 minutes, but it won't take you that long. I'll be back in about a second. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. Been sipping on about 45 minutes. Went very well with the cigar that I was smoking. A nice Maduro wrapped cigar for this nice double dragon bourbon barrel aged Imperial South. Triple mashed, very nice. Nice roasted, uh, almost to the burnt characteristics of the malt. The bourbon is there. It is definitely, now that it's warmed up to room temperature, it's definitely there. I get it on the nose. A little bit more alcohol in this one than the, the three 11 percenters. This is 14 percent. A little bit of dark fruit, bittersweet chocolate. It's awesome, guys. It's awesome. Probably the best one of the three, in my opinion. But I did enjoy the other three. They were very, very pleasant. Final chug. Wow. Wow. This is definitely my favorite of the, of the four that Robbie sent me. The bourbon is just awesome, guys. It's perfectly matched with the beer. This would be a great candidate to sell her. The chocolate is there. The dark fruit is there. A little, little bit more alcohol. But it is, like I said, uh, I've had 8% or several were more boozy than this. And this is 14%. So, a great beer for the final beer of the evening. And that's what it is for me. I am done. Guys, I can't think of anything to say that I would change in this beer or to make it better. It's a 10 for me. It is a 10 beer. Uh, it's a 100. Over to uh, Beer Advocate. They say 91 in the outstanding range. It is an outstanding beer. It's definitely worth picking up if you're a stout fan, or especially a bourbon barrel stout fan. 14%. This will get you there. This will put you in the hammer lane fast. Very nice. Very nicely done beer. Those guys at New Holland have got it going on. Bottled on date. Vintage 2015 on the back label. Uh, the alcohol is written on the back label. The only thing we don't have is the IBUs, and actually, a uh, Red Beer had that listed as 31. So, I would like to see that on the label somewhere, but two out of three ain't bad, guys. It's not, especially for this style of beer. Wow. Delicious. Delicious. Makes me rub my hands together. It's a great beer. It's a great beer. Great Beer has us at overall 97 and 63 in his style. So 97, 91, and a 100 for me. Uh, I can't think of a, a reason why not to give this beer a 100. Uh, the bourbon is there. Everything is there in this beer that you want. And what is written on the label is the information that we need. Bottled on date in yellow. Uh, vintage on the back. ABV on the back. Uh, great. All the information we need, guys, for this style of beer. 100 for me. So if you've had this one from New Holland, this is their Dragon's Milk Reserve Triple Mashed Out. They're calling it their Double Dragon. I'm a Dragon fan. I've got dragons on my, um, tattoos on me, so uh, I'm a Dragon fan. Let me know if you've had this one, guys, and uh, we'll pick up something out of the fridge tomorrow. See if we can find something out of there in the same category, maybe. Maybe a 10. Maybe not. We'll see. Come on back tomorrow. We'll find out. Let's go see what's in the fridge. See you then.